going to describe um, taking carbon samples for seawater. The blue box provided has two kinds of bottles and mercuric chloride. Please be careful with the mercuric chloride solution. It is poisonous. If you get any on your skin, please wash it off. Get your pipette ready. Take out a tip and fit it to the pipette. Also supplied as a sampling tube. Fit this to the spigot on the niskin. This can sometimes be quite difficult. And start the flow through the tube. There we are. Put the tube in the bottom of the square bottle and rinse the bottle three times, keeping the tip of the tube at the bottom of the bottle. Once, twice and three times, rinsing through the lid. Now pinch the tube to stop the flow into the bottle. Turn the bottle back over and start the flow again very carefully so as not to introduce any bubbles into the sample. Allow the bottle to fill and to overflow. Rinse the lid three times using the overflow and then pinch the tube to stop the flow completely. Withdraw the tube and you'll find that the level of sample is exactly right as shown here. Now you need to poison the sample. Take up one squirt of mercuric chloride and add it to the sample, keeping the tip out of the sample. Put the lid on and invert the sample twice. The round bottles with the blue lids are for total alkalinity samples and they're taken in exactly the same way as the TCO2 samples. Start the flow, rinse the bottle three times, once, twice, three times, stop the flow, then gradually release the tube to start the flow again without adding bubbles. Allow the bottle to fill. And then to overflow and rinse the lid three times. Pinch the tube to stop the flow and then pull out the spigot to stop the flow from the niskin. This time you'll need to pour out some sample to achieve the right level. The right level is just at the glass ring. Poison the sample. One squirt. Put on the lid and invert twice. And put it back in the box. When you finish sampling for the day, please tighten the lids again because changes in temperature can make them quite loose and so they need to be nice and tight. Put the mercuric chloride back in the box and the lid back on and you're ready to go.